We're not. We don't like payments. And there for a long time, I never had car. I had had not had car payments in years. And so I didn't. Boy, them, that's nice stuff. <laughs> I never get tired of looking at that. Talk about making a bill. Ooh, a billy cub. I mean. That stuff is, of course, beheaded, it starts coming apart. Put that in there. There ought to be 30 pounds in that bucket now. Um, but there's so much stuff about this live. Uh, and, and now I was just watching something Tube Buddy had up. Uh, you can get, you don't have to have a thousand subscribers to get sponsors for your channel. Uh, but I don't know what kind of anybody sponsoring me. I mean, I don't use nothing in particular. I use whatever's the handiest and cheapest I can get by with, you know, within reason. Sometimes I gotta buy something that's quality instead of, uh, something just dirt cheap but there's just so much to this stuff and this and I'm gonna go back in there at night and I'm gonna start looking at the the uh, live thing again uh, one thing about you is it stream yard or yard stream I keep getting them backwards well anyway you know what I'm talking about and that's the one I kind of like uh, I've got the free version, but if I can get all this other stuff to work and know what I'm doing, I might go the pro version, which is, um, mm, $120 a year. Or, no, it's not that much. I forget, it's low, it's, it's, it's in the low, I think, double digits. And I mean, they got one that goes all the way up to $49, but I ain't there yet. But uh, it's just stuff, so much stuff about it that I don't understand. Uh, I'm going to get a couple of people for moderators. I've got one lady in mind. She's the one that enlightened me the other day and gave me a reality check when I was talking about getting the, uh, if I got anything, oh yeah, here, uh, and, oh crap, that's water. <laughs> that's right, I'm, I'm swearing off the sodas. And, uh, oh Lord. Water is good. And maybe, just maybe, if I drink water, maybe I won't have to wake up three and four times in the night just, just to go pee. Uh, and I can remember back in the day, I didn't have to wake up at all to do that. I could do that before I went to bed or when I got up. I didn't have to get up in the middle of the night to go. But things are different now. But uh, I I'm going to go back and look at that. And Snobby wants a spot. And I, and I told him, I said, yeah, Snobby, you got a spot. I like Snobby. Uh, <laughs> I like his wife, too. Dusty Blonde. <laughs> it's 
She's a sweetheart. I'm trying awful hard not to call her a hottie. Some people say that's derogatory to call a lady a hottie, but is it? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't mean it is derogatory. I mean it like, hey, you're easy on the eyes. I ain't called her a hottie yet. I don't think I have. I might have, Snobby, if I had. And it offends you, my friend. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I, there's another guy, FBG. I don't think he's got a wife, though. He may. I don't know, but he sure likes the ladies. Which ain't nothing wrong with that. If you foot loose and fancy free, you can like the ladies. Well, you can like the ladies anyway. You just can't touch. <laughs> but I'm trying to figure this thing out, and I've got um, this one lady that I want as a moderator, and they made some comments on there the other day that some of that stuff I was having trouble getting done on my live videos. They said if you had moderators, they could take care of some of that stuff for you. But, and they know how to do it, or they should know how to do it. So that really piqued my interest. But I'm assuming, and this one lady told me that, you got to be careful about the people you pick. Now they were saying, she was telling me that moderators, uh, if something starts getting out of hand on a live chat or something or a live um, stream like that, they can, they, they know how to get rid of them real quick or, or block them or something so they can still watch but they can't comment. Stuff like that. So see, I don't know how to do all that stuff. So, and I, I, I've never had, the worst I've ever had anybody say on any of my videos or anything was that I was disgusting because I burped and uh, she's lucky it wasn't a fart. Cause I'm pretty free with both. Cause I don't even know when they're coming. They just come. They just like they're in the shadows and all of a sudden, bam, there they are. And uh, used to when you was younger, if you had a fart coming on, you knew you knew it. And you could hold it or balk it or something. Same thing on a belch or a burp, you know, if you got one of them coming on, uh, you knew it. Nowadays, I don't know it. They just in the shadows and then it, they just decide to pop their head out any time. And I may have control over maybe half of it, so a half fart or a half burp ain't no such thing, no, is it? But anyhow, I'm trying to figure something out for Saturday or Sunday on uh another live. I didn't think I would like it, but I like it. I felt like I was having a family reunion or something, boy. And there was a couple of people popped in there and this one lady, Miss Twiggy, I swear, she she was there every video I put up and a comment and she was always there. And I know a little bit about her personal life and everything, but not really up close personal, but but I knew, and all of a sudden, she wasn't there anymore. And I'm, and I kept thinking, I hope she's all right. You know, I, I hadn't heard anything, and I didn't have an email or anything I could contact her with. So I'm thinking, I sure hope she didn't pass away or anything, and. That, we was doing that live the other day, and there Miss Twiggy popped up. There she was. I was so happy. I, man, I, it just got me. It really got to me. 
and uh, of course she's commented now a couple of times on I don't think she just knew how much how much I liked her you know and stuff and, and but I surely did I sure I sent her a doll I found in the dumpster I got the other mate to it here I might put that up for a giveaway if somebody might be interested in that thing um Cause I don't even look. I got it stored away in in the box. Uh, but where was I? At? I'm I'm I got off on Miss Twiggy, and there was another one that popped in there I hadn't seen in a while. I can't remember who it was. But uh, I I'm working on it Friday or Saturday. Uh and I'm gonna have to figure out who I can get my, and how I make them moderators because I couldn't figure that out. And with this yard stream or stream yard, whatever it's called, one or other, uh, I can't. And I done lost my thought about what I was gonna say about that. That gone it. Uh, I was gonna say, oh, I don't say it quick, Dauber. You forget it again. I don't know how to put a shortcut to Yardstream on my desktop. I have to go online and find the login to log into it. I want a shortcut, a link on my desktop. All I got to do is click on that and log in. Uh, this is not software that you download and put on your, that's, a, that's on your computer. It's on something else it's out there somewhere <laughs> but i want a shortcut or a link that i can click the link the login pops up and i log in and i can start setting up the live stream um and i don't am i supposed to do a premium like a premiere type thing or something i see that popping up i don't know what a premiere is uh but I know, uh, and I don't know how to have a thing that pops up on your computer and says, Junk Dauber live in 30 minutes, because I got some that pops up that says that. I got my pants legs rolled up, and I think I didn't spray them up there, so I better put them pants legs back down. But, uh, it's just a lot I don't know. There's a lot I want to do. Um, and I'm so afraid I'm going to mess things up. I, I don't want to lose nobody. I don't want to. I really got to watch my tongue. And I think I do pretty good about watching my tongue. Especially I don't, I don't like I said, I ain't putting politics in it. And I, I'm not putting religion in it. There is some references to God and stuff like that. And uh, but as far as getting involved in it as much like Scrapping Pallet Man is, I'm not going to do that. Uh, a lot of people don't like it, but a lot of people do like it. And I found, I think. My way of thinking is if I get specific things, like if I get a specific area that I'm going to deal with that's mainly for the people that really into the religious stuff, uh, then the people that's not really into it is not it's going to be turned off by or the other's going to be turned so why can't I just stay in the middle uh, it's pretty much my personal religion and thing and my politics that's 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 my my sister-in-law used to tell me it's none of you meaning none of my business of course now <laughs> It ain't none of you from her anymore. She wants to jump in there and talk about it all the time, but I ain't going there, sister. You go on, you keep voting the way you want to, I'll keep voting the way I want to. And look, just, that's it. None of you. 
Her religion I know very well. Her and I are both the same religion. Um, but yeah, I just try not to get in, stay in an area that I'm going to have to lean real strong one way or the other where it's going to eliminate half the people I got, probably. If that if that's the way things split up in this country, you know, that's, I just don't want to do it. You know, gosh, you, do, you, you vote the way you want to. You, you go to the church you want to. And I, that's what this country is. It's the freedom to do as one chooses as long as it's within the law and you're not harming nobody or harming nobody's property. You know, that that's the way this country is. And uh, matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to have to shut up on that subject because I might start preaching. I ain't going to do that. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to look at this thing again. I, and if anybody that knows anything about this moderator stuff and is interested in being a moderator on my uh does that mean they're just a moderator on the live part, or is that are they a moderator on my channel? I don't know. I don't know. I wish I did. Uh, my grand, my middle grandson, he knows. Well, I don't know if he knows so much about YouTube or not. I know he's got a channel. And I know he's one of my subscribers, but I don't know if a moderator is just for live or is it for live and on your channel, period. I don't know. And and to what extent do they have control on your live or on your channel? I need to know all this stuff. And this one lady told me right off the bat, you need to know who you're dealing with uh, if you have a moderator and which makes a whole lot of sense because folks I'm going to tell you you can get in deep doo doo when somebody can all of a sudden have control over certain things in your life and and we did. My wife and I. Uh, we lost our pretty much life savings. We lost our nest egg because we didn't think somebody would screw us over. It was kind of a deal where we trust. We would have trusted them with our life, but in the end. We wound up broke. Or not. We still wasn't there yet when my wife passed away, but after my wife passed away, it just everything went to squat. I ain't going to get into that. It is what it is. I did it. I made decisions to do all that. And so, like I keep saying, it's my bed. I made it, and I'm sleeping in it uh, every once in a while. I don't sleep in my bed. I go in the living room and get on the sofa. <laughs> and I've been doing that the last three or four nights. Uh, simply because I've been trying to get rid of a lot of stuff and I'm pulling a lot of stuff out. And my bed is piled up three feet with stuff on there and I'm trying to figure out what's keep and what's not. And, uh, how to organize it more. I mean, it's piled up. So I've been sleeping on the sofa. Um, but anyway, that's where I'm at, guys. Girls. Uh, I'm going to pick that up. That, this is not all the stuff I got stripped, but this one here was pretty heavy the other day. And Oh, Lord. Is that could that be 40 pounds? Holy crap. 
I believe it might be for oh, that stuff is heavy wow and I got I've got another thing full of copper over there, you know, from TVs and stuff like that. That stuff is heavy. That might be 40 pounds of my scales in the house. Oh, that's right. I took my hot air, my, my heat gun inside. I had something I was working on in there. That's where that thing's at. Anyhow, this video ain't much, but guys, it is what it is, and I hope and if it, yeah, any of y'all can be any help to me at all with this live stream on go on. Uh, I'm I'm starting to say GoPro uh, live stream on YouTube or any suggestions you can come up with. I finally, like I did, I finally figured out that uh how to keep a link up there on my youtube thing and it's on all my videos i put up now uh, a link to my paypal tip jar and and you folks are sending a dollar god bless your heart i i'm a strong believer one dollar at a time will make a hundred dollars. One penny at a time will make a dollar. So, boy, and I don't know whether I'm supposed to thank people publicly about the PayPal tips or not, but it's adding up. That's why I'm wanting to get a bunch of this copper so so I can put it in there on that account for that scooter. And by the way, let's see who told me that. Uh, Willow, to, I think, told me about that that uh, that Gator ATV thing I saw the other day that I got all starry-eyed about. Boy, they'd be neat, but it is a motor vehicle. It it has to be registered. It has to have a tag. I didn't know that. Now, if it's on the farm or something, you don't. But I ain't on the farm. But she's right about that. So I never thought about going trying to get one because I'm I'm gonna have enough trouble getting uh getting uh uh this Challenger Sport that I want to get, and that thing has a special little trailer that comes with it that trailer's 175 dollars so that's possibly not out of reach um but that scooter's within reach and it may take me six months to get there but i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna get there and i got this this stuff is Nickel, it's not. No, it's it's either aluminum. No, wait a minute. That little back shot on that thing there, I can pry them off pretty. I used the heat gun to do that, but the rest of that, the guts and everything, and these things, they are. I'm pretty sure they're nickel. I can't. Oh, let me unscrew that. While I'm at it, that one comes off of there, and that one comes off of there. I like tinkering with stuff like this. You know, it all adds up, fellas, and I may be able to pop that off. No, I can't. I got to get the heat gun with that on there. I hear thunder. I hear thunder. I think I'm going to take me inside. 
I need to get my this I've got an industrial cutoff saw. I've used it very little. But boy it's good for cutting up big pieces long pieces of metal, you know, steel and stuff and um and actually there's one bigger than this. I don't see how scrappers like uh, uh, Scrap Life 24-7, who used to be Scrap Kingdom. I don't see how he gets by without one. I really don't. He needs one set up somewhere in his shop or something. He needs to be able, if he had a big enough industrial cutoff saw, he could, um, all that space hog stuff, I call it, that's piled up, that takes up so much, it's the volume that it takes up would be reduced by probably 90% if you had it cut up into smaller pieces. And, uh, uh, matter of fact, if I was set up like, uh, like he is, the kingdom. I know where there is a shear, a steel, a metal shear. Yeah, it's gonna rain. It's already started raining. I waited too long. The guy only wants seven hundred and fifty dollars for it, but it's a big standalone machine. And it's like a giant chop saw that it goes, you, you stick a piece of angle iron under there and hit, hit the foot pedal and it comes in whack. It cuts it off, shears it right off. And he does that, he does that with all of his scrap. When he loads his pit and he works on the pickup truck, he, he, gets, he gets three and four times the weight on that pickup truck by being able to cut that stuff up. And he saves, for every trip he makes, he's saving probably, he probably takes three or four trips on stuff he takes in one now. But it, it's not, see, and that's a used one, but it sure does the job. I mean, you can, you can, the uh, other day I was over there and he had some, uh, he had some three inch uh, galvanized pipe. And it was real long pieces. It was like 20 foot. I don't know why he was cutting them up. I'd have tried to sell that as is. But he was, he had that thing laid up there and he run it out about two foot and hit that pedal and whoomp, that thing come down and it cuts it and then whoomp just as fast as he can do it. It's cutting it. Um, I'm not sure about three phase. Or not. It may be three phase where he's at. And if you don't know what three phase is, I'm not even gonna try and explain it to you. Cause you don't know what it is. And I'm here explaining, ain't gonna tell you nothing no way. But, um, he needs some way to reduce the size, the volume of that stuff. Not the volume, but what is it I'm saying? The space, the footprint that it takes up. When he piles all them tables and, and long pieces of metal and just stuff like that, it takes up a lot of room for no more weight than it is. It's what I'm trying to tell him. He don't pay much attention to what I say anyway. He's got his way, I got my way. But if I was him, I'd be, it's gonna thunder. I guess I need to get inside. You need to think out of the box, Kingdom. I believe. But you the man. <laughs> you the man, Kingdom. I'm going inside before it gets any worse. That's going it. That's going it. Uh, let me get my butt. Oh, oh, I see a piece of gold there glimmering at me. Yep. Oh, 
Oh boy. Have I got... Yeah, I need to GoPro stop recording. <laughs>